is up everybody, I'm Star Lord Dan. Today's video is more of an information video for all of you guys who love Pokemon Brick Bronze on Roblox. Um, of course we all know, you know, I've been playing Pokemon Brick Bronze now for around about five months or something like that, and I love it. I think it's like one of the best games on Roblox. Personally, it's a game where, you know, it really takes a lot to actually complete, you know, it's not easy like every other game where you can just complete it in a couple of days and that's it. I mean, it gives you so many opportunities to make this game last longer. For example, you know, you have to work hard to actually get the shinies that you want and um, yeah, I, I don't know, you have to collect them all if, if that's something that you're into. So it's a very good game that lasts a long time. But recently, I've been seeing some comments on my videos that I've been posting and also a lot on Twitter about a new hacked Pokemon Brick Bronze game. I'm not going to mention the name, although I know some of you guys will know what it is. Um, I really don't want to publicize this because basically that game that you're talking about, this new Pokemon Brick Bronze hack where you can get free legendaries and all that kind of poop, um, it's a bad thing, and I know many of you guys are only kids and you don't realize this right now, but this is really damaging Roblox in general. This is the reason why Roblox sometimes has really crappy games on the front page. And uh, even yesterday, the game actually reached the front trending page, and I was like, whoa, this is too much. Basically, this game that everyone's been going hyped about, because as soon as you spawn, you're allowed to pick what legendary you have and what awesome Pokemon you have, and that's basically it. It's so easy to just get legends. Like, you can get them like that. It's so easy. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I just kind of want to tell you guys that this game is actually a ripoff of Pokemon Brick Bronze. Everything that the developers of Pokemon Brick Bronze have worked their, pretty much their uh, life for, as of right now, has just been taken away from them and basically been uploaded again and made easier. Um, and that's wrong, that is very wrong, because imagine if something like Jailbreak got hacked and they basically took Jailbreak, they basically took that game and just made one little change to it. That is basically what these developers have done. And not many people actually see this, many people actually see it as, Oh, I can get a free Legendary, oh my god, this is the best league ever! Uh, well, no, it's, it's kind of not. It's kind of really stupid, if I'm honest, because the game actually got took down yesterday, and even some of you guys wasted Robux on it. Now, you guys have to realize that if you do end up participating in a game that is hacked, it's essentially hacked, you will be wasting your time and Robux because eventually it will be getting taken down. It's just a matter of fact. So, whereas you guys spent 150 Robux on that game, you could have spent 150 Robux on Pokemon Brick Bronze actually supporting the developers of a good game who have pretty much recreated a Pokemon franchise in their own little game. And you could have actually got a real shiny or a real legend from that 150 Robux. So how how stupid do you feel now? Um, so basically, I kind of wanted to just say that, you know, this game isn't all that it's meant to be. The developers of this game are actually very rude. Uh, one of them, I would absolutely love to say, is an a-hole. I'm sorry to say it, guys, but he is. He's actually disgusting, and I don't like him one bit. He actually said a long time ago that he was going to make some big exposed video about me and everything like that, and he still seems to, to this day, he still seems to think he has, like, dirt on me. I don't really know exactly what dirt he thinks he's got on me, but I am like an open book. If somebody asks me a question, I will say it truthfully. I mean, come on, I've just called somebody an a-hole on a child-friendly channel. Um, I am as an open as a book as ever. Like, honestly, guys, I am truthful. Um, but anyway, um, so the developers are really horrible. All they want is your Robux, to be fair. And uh, all they wanted to do was rip off these people's life's work and basically take the exact same game, make one little tiny change to it, and then make it better, as some of you guys call it. Uh, but essentially, it's not. And it's really killing Robux. And... Um, I don't know, I just kind of don't see how kids these days find the appeal in going into a game and all of a sudden getting your legendary Pokemon. Like, as soon as you go in, you can get a legendary Pokemon. And I just don't understand that. I don't understand how kids these days can want games to be so easy. Back in the day when I played Pokemon Yellow, when I was like, Jesus, how old was I? I must have been like six or something like that, maybe. Um, I would sit up all day and night, all week, all month, all year to sit up and catch 
every Pokemon in that game. I didn't want it easy because you know what? That game lasted me so long because I loved playing it. And you know what? All of the Pokemon games up to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire lasted me over like two years because I was just so focused on actually playing the game. I didn't want it easy. I didn't want the game to be over that quick because essentially what happens is if a game is so easy, uh, let's say for example, Saint Row or Crackdown. Uh, basically in those type of games, you get superpowers really easy, which make you able to like smash into everything. You're able to jump really far. Eventually you kind of get bored of that because you know, you've had it since the start of the game and you're like, oh, well, okay, well, this is kind of poop. I mean, I thought this was going to be special, but it kind of seems like I've got all of these powers at the start of the game. So therefore making the game kind of irrelevant that you're a superhero um, and kind of boring in fact too. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of going off target a little bit there. I kind of just wanted to say all of this and get it off my mind. Um, but I would really like to say that the people who are supporting the development, I, I say development, it's hardly a development, and the developers are hardly devs at all, they're like failed people who knew how to hack a game. Um, but basically, any of you guys who are supporting this hack game are really damaging Roblox uh, as a gem in general, and you're damaging Pokemon Brick Bronze too. I mean, most of these guys depend on us to actually play their game, make it popular and everything like that, in order to feed their families and everything. And I know exactly how that feels. I mean, my YouTube has failed twice uh, in the past. It's kind of like dropped in views and everything. And I find it hard to like support my family uh, or, you know, support my son and uh, my ex-girlfriend, um, you know, like with everything. Like I found it really hard to pay bills and everything like that. And I know how it feels. So, although Pokemon Brick Bronze developers are still making money, people, like the 11,000 people who were playing that game yesterday, just really messed over a lot of, like, revenue potential for the actual game itself. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of you guys are actually, like, tired of waiting for, like, all of the updates and everything like that, but I'll tell you right now, it's... It's harder to make a 8th gym than it is to upload one Pokemon into that hacked game. Like, that's all they do. They literally just make one Pokemon available to you every, like, week or something like that. What happens when every Pokemon is already available to you? What are you going to do with that game then? I mean, it, it kind of makes no sense. Are you going to keep on playing it even though you have every Pokemon? Or do you actually want to play a game that has a storyline where you can enjoy it and you can actually, like, wait and try hard at catching Pokemon and everything like that. Um, the choice is up to you, really, but I know just by the comment section below, when I see people commenting like, oh no, I would prefer that game over Pokemon Big Bronze, I already know I would probably dislike you, personally. I would really dislike you, um, because, I don't know, it, 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 it just kind of shows me how, what kind of a person you are, in general, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I kind of don't want to get this personal or anything like that. You know, play whatever you want to play, but I definitely won't, like, condone it or anything like that. Uh, example, why I didn't actually say the Pokemon game. I don't want anyone going to play this game. And if you do actually see the game is back up in the next couple of days or something like that, guys, please refrain from playing it. Because if you spend money on it, if you do this, that, and the other on it, it's only going to get taken down. And what's the point in having everything in a game that means nothing? You know, it's better to have a Lugia or a Ho-Ho in Pokemon Brick Bronze than it is into a game where you can catch it straight away and everyone can get it, you know what I mean? Um, and I did also see that one person on Twitter actually said, you know, I preferred the hacked game because Lando and the developers of Pokemon Big Bronze actually give, like, people like I Am Murderface and Jamie Jamie and Russo, like, legendary Pokemon that nobody else can get. And uh, you know what I say to that? I say, you know what? Well done. Okay, fur dues, you've pointed out a really good kind of, like, situation that shouldn't be there. I personally think that these YouTubers shouldn't really get their Pokemon like that. Um, if anything, I think that... They they should get like a different looking Pokemon but not a Pokemon that isn't yet available to the public. Like, for example, you know, like, I would be okay with a Rainbow Bidoof, because eventually Rainbow Bidoofs will be available to everybody. Um, and, you know, it's not that special. Um, it's just a regular Pokemon. But whereas, you know, people do get, like, Pokemon that are not in the game for, like, months and everything, that is kind of crappy. I'll be honest with you. That is really, really poopy. And um, I, I think that's wrong, personally. But, you know, that is the developer's choice. And, um, you know, eventually these Pokemon will be available to us all, guys. And, um, yeah, those po those people who have those Pokemon will no longer be able to clickbait and be like, you know, Oh, I got this Pokemon! Oh! Um, yeah, you kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to go through here. Um, 
But anyway, today's video was kind of just the purpose of telling you guys, if you do see any Pokemon Brick Bronze ripoffs on the actual Roblox store itself, please do not go and check them out or anything like that, guys. Support the actual development of Pokemon Brick Bronze, as it is a game that you all love and enjoy. And also, um, just kind of be nice. Just be nice, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, sorry for the little rant. I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest, as it has been on my chest for quite some time now. Uh, but yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, have an awesome, awesome week. Um, until next time, I'm Donald. <laughs> see ya! <laughs>